Hey guys, uh, we're going to quickly show you guys how to replace a Elite, uh, HP Elite Book keyboard. Uh, for this particular one, my uh, cousin, uh, his space uh, bar doesn't work, so as you can see, we're in Don't Pad right now. When you press it, it's, it's like VM and then it makes a sound. Now, whether, whether it's the space bar or any key that doesn't work and you have to replace it, Right. Uh, when we took it out to the local hardware store, uh, they said they would do it for $120. Uh, so I went home, actually I searched it online. Uh, I searched for this pad, they're online on Amazon, I found it for $40. Uh, you can replace this for $40, just buy and have some of these tool, uh, small filler pad, and then uh, something that's flat so you can pry things open, whether it's a, uh, whether it's, um, a credit card, uh, a credit card might be too thick, but even if you do a knife, be extremely careful. Okay, but something's pry open and small fill like that. And then this keyboard will be forty dollars. I don't know where you go. It might, it might pull it differently, um, but it saved me about a hundred dollars. So now I'm going to show you how to do it. Uh, before you do all of this, you have to shut it down. Make sure you shut your computer down. Wear one of these uh, wristbands uh, to this static so that you don't burn your chips, any of your circuitries, right? Unplug. You can pry the keyboard up from the front too. Highly uh, discourage that because it, you will scratch all of this up before you get it out. So don't do that, please. Go from the back. What we have here is the back. Uh, in order to remove the back plate, you're going to have to unscrew nine screws, ten total, but nine on the outside. One, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine screws, and then this is the SD card. So you got to pull it out, and then there's a screw here. You take that out. So there's ten screws, right? After you take your ten screws out, take whatever your uh, flat end utensil is. Uh, I always start at where the hinges are. Uh, Insert it and wiggle it. Try to like pry it. There we go. And then you can, there you go. You can hear that. And then you can keep moving down along the way. And then you can do the same for this side too. There we go. And then once it's up like that, it's just a matter of prying it out. Uh, flip it around so I have leverage. But since I have all of it up, I can just pry it up with my nail, just like that, right? So. We can take this, flip it over. Now what I always do is uh, next, I take out the battery, right? Since I'm working with uh, hardware, I wanna take out the battery so there's no battery in here. There's two screws right here you have to unscrew. It doesn't go all the way out. It, it's uh, attached to here, but get it out once it's loose, you know it's out and then there's a little ribbon, a little tap right here, grab it lift it up and that's your battery so we've taken the battery out now there's no power going into it uh, the keyboard you will have to push through it to uh, so it pops out on the other side and where it is is if you look right here by where the CPU and the CPU fan is there's a little black etch right here poke it with something that's not sharp okay something that's not sharp small but not sharp poke it and the keyboard will pop out uh, but before you do that, there are two additional screws, okay? There are keyboard screws. And those screws you can see by the labeling. One second. Oh my god, my eyes. My eyes right here. So you can see the little keyboard sign right here. That's one screw and this is the other one, right? You can see the little keyboard. So I'm going to unscrew it. That's one. Oh. This is the other one. Unscrew it. That's what holds the keyboard together. And then once you push it out right here, uh, it'll push out from all the clips in the front. So right here, open your laptop so that it has room to go so the keyboard can pop out. And then here's the black one. Hold something like this. Push through. That's it. And I'm going to lay this down. I'm going to flip this over, and you can see that where I push, that's where the keyboard is. And now I can just slowly, lightly take this, pull it up. 
right, and then lift it. Uh, now you got to be very, very careful. The next step is lifting this slowly, but then it's attached by these uh, ribbons. Don't, don't tug it out. Don't grab it out quickly. Okay, just lift it like this. And for these one, you just got to pull this up, and then it'll pop out, just like that. It's out. Then once you get that out, you can lay it down like that, and then you got to pop out these two small pins. One, same thing. One. Here, we use the sand so you can kind of see. Two, right? And then just pull it out, pull it out, and that's your keyboard. So now we're going to put the keyboard over here. I'm going to swap it with a different one. This one is a working one. So uh, do the reverse, right? Lay it down, the exact same. Now you got to put it back in. What you want to um, make note of is the little metal uh, right here. These metal slivers. You want to make sure that they're aligned and touching uh, those pins down there because they need to make contact, right? Once it's in and making contact, push it down. And then we'll do the same for this one, the same order that we took it out. Align and align and contacting, push it down, and then you can lift it up like this and do the same for this one. Align and contacting, you can see it's in, push it down, down, down. Okay, same reverse uh, order. Push this in, once it's flush like that, lay it down, and slowly around the edge, push it in. All right, you can hear it pop in, in, in. That's in. That's the keyboard. Now I'm going to flip it over. Same reverse order, right? Uh, there were two screws. These two screws. One screw, two screws. So look at that low keyboard sign again. Put the screws in. Alright, so the screws are in. Next, we want the battery back in again. So lay the battery back in its original spot. Just like that. Lay it down. Screw the battery back in. Screw the battery back in. And then I'm going to put this cap back on top. The back plate. Uh, I'm not going to screw the back plate in just yet. You guys know how to do it. It doesn't take that long, but it. I'm just going to close it like that. Turn it around. Let's turn it on and see if it works. So, if you recall at the beginning of the video, uh, the space bar was the one that we had issues with. Uh, let's see if it works right now. Hello there. I think my space bar works. That's it, guys. Forty dollars. If you have these already, find something around your house. If you don't, right? Small um, filipet, and then uh, a flat edge to like pry. If you use a knife, I've used a knife before. Please be extremely careful with it. Um, don't injure yourself. But always remember where these resistant chuck resistance bands so that you don't uh, fry any of your circuitry. Other than that, as you can see, pretty quick, five minutes uh, to save me $100. Right? I'm not paying my local hardware guy $100 um, labor to replace a keyboard that now you can order on Amazon and it'll send it to you within a day or two. Let's take it out, put it in. That's it, guys. If you have any questions, please drop it down below. Uh, if you find this helpful, helpful, we'd really appreciate it if you uh, smash that like button and uh, subscribe. Thanks a lot, guys.